solving the unsolvable. That's the job of APD's cold case unit. And the families of some victims are finally getting answers. The unit cracked a case just last week, leading to charges in a 2016 murder. And as KVU's Mati Salazar tells us, the police are not doing it all on their own. Mati? Mike Quita, the Travis County District Attorney's Office is playing a major role in helping police solve these cases. Their faces are in clear view. We treat these as motivation, as, as realization that, that the years of work that we put into these cases, that there is light at the end of the tunnel and that these cases do have the possibility of being resolved. Victims and their stories in the Austin Police Cold Case Unit. These cases are just as important as fresh cases. Um, you know, there's still a victim involved. There's still family members um, that miss their, their loved one. Finding answers requires a lot of work and digging. Currently, we have about 200 uh, cold cases. But working with the DA's office has opened a lot of doors. We work very closely with them. Whenever we start getting traction or getting some leads in a case, we will bring one of them on board and start working the case side by side. Because ultimately, when we complete a case, they're going to be presenting it in court. We're there to really brainstorm with them. Uh, how to get the case to the point where we can prosecute it. Since the DA's office and the cold case unit linked up in 2017, there have been indictments in four cases, one of them a murder charge. Detective Metcalf says it's because of the extra help. And they plan for that number to go up. At least get a, a case to trial where we can let a jury hear the evidence and determine for themselves an outcome. We're always looking to do justice. No matter how long ago this homicide may have taken place, there are family members who are still hurting from that crime. They do have some high profile cold cases. They need help closing and we'll have those photos and stories of a few of them on KVU.com. Marty Salazar, KVU News.